Ah, uh, here we are again. Game replays. Sitting down. Watching EA's uh, logo come out of the form of the Knot Snake. Loading up fraps. Using Audacity. Feeling of crushing loneliness. As you observe the fact that you're sitting home alone on a Wednesday night. Talking to your computer. <clears throat> this is Captain Gerd, and today we have for you the first... And actually, I'm not gonna lie, I probably won't be doing this again for a while. But, uh, I had a night free, figured I haven't uh, done a VOD in a while. Went over to uh, GR, picked up a few, or picked up a replay, rather. Have no uh, concept of what this replay is about. Uh, just know it's against, it's between, rather, Aurora Negra. I'm sure you know both of these people from the forums, I will hold my tongue on both of them. And Anoyan, who's playing as Vanilla GDI. Aurora Negra is Marked Kane. woohoo, something different. Uh, so that's fun. Uh, yep, know nothing about this, although, uh, I, you yeah, know, there's the replay title, which eh, may or may not kind of give it away, but, uh, yeah, so this game might totally suck. I honestly have no idea. Um, hmm, this is weird, seeing as how, uh, Aurora Negra, oh, Negra's bike rushing, although it's odd that he didn't send anything, especially being marked with Kane to the middle, so, uh, looks like, um, <coughs> oh god, this is gonna be hard. We'll start with A. Uh, I'm, I'm out of my commentating smarts. Anoyan, okay. Alright, Ano- alright, Anoyan's, uh, Russian- <laughs> Oh boy, Anoyan is a actual, um, a recent, uh, expert. Or, not so recent, but, yeah, I think he's the newest expert in King Draft, so that's fun. Um, <clears throat> congrats to him. So we'll be expecting plenty out of this. Um, Ever and Negra is really just going with a quick, uh, quick raider here. And, uh, yeah, that's interesting. They didn't send any infantry whatsoever to either end. Um, so both both those will go. Unless he pops out. I uh, don't know, that's not, not going to happen. He's not going to pop out a, uh, a Reckoner. All right, Pupil pops out. Some encounter scouting. That's great. As of now, no, he doesn't have any scouting in um, Ronegra's base. Hadn't seen a quick span over to the right um, to his natural um, Tib field, which uh, pretty normal. Closing in here on five uh, harvesters. So let's see. I'll just commentate a little bit on this mashup. Almost an exact uh, identical timing here from Anoian, so that's good. Um, yep, both four harvesters. Fifth on its way. Uh, looks like, yeah, looks like Aurora, Aurora Negra is a little bit ahead, but uh, not too, not too big a deal there. Um, Pitbull still trying to catch this damn raider, and oh, probably gonna get him here. Speed's very close. Raiders are faster, but not very much. And, oh, come on. Get the last. Please, just d d one more. One more. So close. Watch as the thrilling Captain Gerd commentates on <laughs> Raider being chased by Pitbull. All right, so we're all set there. Everyone's expanded. New refiners are up. Everyone has five harvesters. Everyone's happy. Let's begin the game in earnest now. Tip spike didn't get taken, so that's still for grabs. Um, I don't know if Anoian has forgotten about it or if he just has more important things to do, a.k.a. a Pitbull push. This will be interesting. Um, maybe looking to get a few harvester kills, or n maybe not because in tech bikes. So we have a nice little GDI uh, Mark King mirror here. I'll just talk a little bit about uh, the matchup in general. Um, luckily, this game, yeah, other games game patched. King Draft 1.02 will never change. So even though I haven't played this game since you know last year, uh, all of the stats and whatnot should still hold true. I don't believe the metagame really can develop too much. Yep, these pitbulls are... I don't look like they're even going to lose anyone. Uh, yeah. Good stuff. Of course, got a kill on attack bike there, so that's good. Attack bikes versus pitbulls 1-1. One one. Obviously, pitbulls come up on top. Um, attack bikes far more useful um, in terms of their role. And we see the switch to scorpions. Anyway, I should probably go back to talking about the matchup, seeing as I've said that thrice already and have yet to do anything about it. But, um... <coughs> Nature seems to be conspiring against me. Um, I think, uh, you know, the really thing that will be setting, uh, VG, or VNAD versus, uh, Mark Decanic apart will be, one, the fact that you won't be seeing, um, a, uh, heavy laser capacitor scorpion spam, um, Seeing as how they don't have laser... Oh, never mind, they have dozer blades. Never mind. Okay. Well, that's, uh, wow. I'm, uh... Hey! 
you guys are all wondering why you're still watching this, go watch something Green Zero put together. He's actually good at what he does. I'm just a kid sitting in front of a sitting in front of his computer talking. Used to be good at this. I did. I swear. Uh, all right, so we have some Tib Troopers coming out. Hey, there's a difference. They don't have a black hand. We have Tiberian Troopers instead. So that's one thing that uh, I if yeah, mass spams aren't as viable because the secret shrine upgrades aren't um, aren't uh, aren't quite as good. Or maybe they are. Maybe Vanilla Nod just doesn't do that anyway. <laughs> oh lord. Anyway, <clears throat> tier two from everyone, uh, um, from both players. Operation Center going down. Probably Doors of Blades will be popping out, so we'll see a nice Scorpion push here. We have double War Factories. Um, Mora Negra is gonna need to expand here pretty soon, seeing as how uh, double War Factories are gonna be soaking up a lot of money, and um, as as a result, that first that expansion field is gonna go on pretty quick. Meanwhile, we have we have the same thing. We do have a double war factory predator. Yes. So we have this is, everyone's kind of mad, or both uh, teams are kind of matching each other in terms of what's happening. Um, although we do have a lot more infantry, infantry support, and especially having the awakened, um, having their EMPs, that could be quite the game changer. However, they're so slow. If they made the um, the advanced, it's the it's the speed upgrade for Martian infantry, like advanced articulators, but not. Um, Makes them lighten faster and Tiberian troopers. If they freaking use those, then uh, add that to Awaken. Awaken would become very viable late game, but the sensor's slow, slow, they just can't do anything. Cybernetic legs. Yes, I was right. Yeah, cybernetic legs. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, Awaken are just kind of useless because of it. Even though they have the best anti infantry guns in the game, is, is tier 1 infantry. Um, actually, well, concabs are probably a bit more useful because they can do AV, but. Shatterers out, that's great. I love seeing Shatterers instead of just the AP, AP ammo, or AP ammo, APCs, which do have a role. Um, I think Shatterers are better for man spam counters, usually. Um, so that'll be good. You're gonna see a nice two brown here attack via. Oh, never mind. Just, uh, oh, they don't have laser capacitors. I was right. See? I know what I'm talking about. I do. Kind of. <clears throat> anyway. Um, yeah, sorry. So, APCs, Shatterers, yeah, unupgraded militia aren't gonna be doing anything. Unfortunately, good night. A few hits there, so that'll be effectively stopped. And the scorpions are always, always going to lose. Big predator spam always beats a big scorpion spam. Ooh, numbers are mm, in favor of Nod, uh, which may make it more even. Whoever kind of has better uh, position here. Up, oh, decoy army right in front. Imagine that. Uh, are we focus firing? We or are we attack moving? Because if there's an attack move, that's dangerous. Yep, yep, GD, ooh, wow, all these predators might be going down here. Yeah, that's the one thing, is that unless you know that you have Spirit Force with predators against scorpions, you really shouldn't commit, because you'll always get chased down if you're losing, and uh, this will happen. Um, what a pretty game. I haven't played this in so long. That's some really nice explosions here, for especially being, what, like, four year, five years old? And, of course, we have Marv out, tier four, um, or tier three and a half, I suppose. Um, no expansion from either player. Both tip fields are completely dried up. Uh, I think they're both looking to end it with their big tank pushes. Um, and now with a mark push. Gonna be seeing... Probably that's too fast for Zone Raider, so I'll be an engineer. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if we're gonna be seeing uh, quad engineers on this, or... Uh, probably, because we don't have an armory out doing... Nope, oh, tech lab. Is that enough? Uh, yeah, maybe a tech lab's enough for his Zone Troopers. Who knows? God, I have to uh, brush up. Those look to be longer. And yes, all right. So zone troopers. So it looks like a normal two-two build on the Marv there. Uh, I know I'm sure we'll be Marvsting at some point. Um, rather doing long range. We have a full expansion up top. Obelisk popping out because we know they're good against epics. And uh, Marvs are oftentimes epics. And Redeemer will be being built. <coughs> will be being built. Will be built. There we go. That works. Um, sack emitter out. Ah, oh, this is uh, this is interesting. Sonic, or shatterers again just do so much damage against pretty much everything Nod brings to the table, um, including scorpion tanks. However, positioning and having a meat shield is really important because they yeah they die in seconds to, to scorpions here. And static um, defenses can only do so much. So, ooh, stealth tanks. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. That's one thing. Oh, God, I I do miss watching. Good nod play. Um, this is a very naughty strategy. Mass tanks, which I like. Obelisks, stealth. That's nice. 
I like it when uh, GDI feels like GDI and Nod feels more like Nod. Where's the Marv? Probably, yeah, blowing stuff up down here. Oh, only one and one. I don't know if he can't afford it or, or what. And what do we have for EMP? Just awakened? Alright, so those won't last too long. <clears throat> Raider EMP coils, those are scary. That's how you kill epic units. What was that? EMP'd everything. Maybe that was another awaken that I missed? Perhaps? Although that's a really long lasting EMP. Yeah. I actually don't know. Oh, maybe power went down. That's probably it. Yep, that's it. Power plant harass. Oh, power harassment is so good, so essential in this game. Not even essential, but um, there are times when I will dare to say it, uh, econ harassment is not as good as going power harassment, to be honest. We have what appears to be a lone troop of zone raiders, or zone troopers, which is dangerous because dozer blades are imba and stupid, and uh, we'll be able to run those over if they're not being careful. Um, otherwise, last of this knot army is going to finally get taken down. Um, Aurora Negra, pretty much, well, almost kind of a base trade there, although the expansion for Aurora Negra stands, I believe, oh, no, still have construction, right? Alright, so, both teams still have the construction yard, of course, Aurora Negra has his expansion. There's the rage generator just went off. Um, one stealth tank harassment, uh, is really not worth it, <laughs> uh, other than being annoying and maybe taking, taking, um, attention away from more important places, but honestly, I, uh, I don't really see that one. Alright, more infantry, which is interesting, because infantry are dying very quickly to shatterers and, uh, and whatnot. War Factory finally goes down, I'm gonna be using the Reclamator Hub as the main, uh, production structure here. The East Side Committers, which are kinda misplaced now, but, uh, teach their own. <clears throat> Looks like we're doing a crawl across towards this tip field. Ooh, that's interesting. Now, that could be for... What did I just hear? Sounds like a supersonic airstrike, but there's no air and there's no tier 4, so I'm just hearing things, obviously. Um, I really like the Shatter and Marv push. Um, um, partially because Shatterers just do insane amounts of damage to everything. As I've said like four times now, I think you get it, but, uh, but no, that's, that's good. I really enjoy that. Um, that'd be more effective, I think, if the Marv had more engineers on it, just so it could be, because, you know, we need a meat shield. Oh, Rage Generator is going to go off, and yes, Shatterers will be... Ah, that was a good, good rage generator. Lost three shatterers, almost, almost killed a fourth. That's got some damage on the Marv. That was very quality. Really, <coughs> good lord, what's wrong with me? Really like the um, late game awakened usage, which uh, again would be far, far better to be using um, if they had seven ankle legs. But we have wow, like seven, eight, nine not harvesters, which are just glitching and pathing themselves. Got yeah, some nice... Ah, I love pitbull harassment late game, too. I always say that. Pack of pitbulls is never a bad thing to have. Um, especially late game. They're just good to have. Anti-air units, um, stealth detection, harassment, which a lot of people forget about. It's never too late to harass. As well as... Um, become quite viable as uh, power harassment and even building um, refiner harassment if you get the, uh, the uh, motor launcher upgrade, which... Or even if you have enough of them and there's a big man spam, those are that's that's good for that. That instantly uh, breaks them into suppression, puts them down. Okay, so we have a base pretty much consisting of power plants and refineries and an obelisk or three <coughs> here for Aurora Negra. So that's uh, to each his own. Got some marvesting. I don't know why. I mean, I suppose it's more important to be using the marv as, a, as an offensive tool in this case, but but uh, yeah. Um, Anoian really doesn't have any money any left, or any money left, rather. Um, and by that I mean he has two grand, so it's just how much I know. Unit player has their tier two building. A anyone have any tech? He's got it, he just popped up an airfield. Where's his command center? There it is. Alright, so we're back at tier two. Hammerheads are getting called in, have APM on them, so those will be nice uh, nice defense. They'll go down pretty quick. Um, <coughs> I found the Zocom hammerheads are really... <coughs> Uh, really the only time that hammerheads can be used, um, highly usefully anyway. Oh my god, that still thing's alive, and not anymore, goodbye. Tiberium, oh, that'll be nice if we get some nice, uh, pitbull kills hill here. There's one, two, three, wow. Wow, that killed almost everything. That was, that was really nice. Alright, so a lot of dead pitbulls and a dead power plant, and I think got a harvester out of that, so that's probably the most productive Tiberium vein detonation I have seen quite a while, obviously tier 4 being researched, um, not researched, being built for, uh, what's that, a catalyst missile? 
Hope not. Otherwise, that'd be a buttload of money he just spent on uh, Tier 4 support. And that's Nod for you. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going Hammerheads with Rocket Squads in them? Alright. Hammerheads with, um, I don't know if you guys remember watching Vi- Oh, someone picked this up. Seriously? Got a hand and Nod here, like, across the screen. Just disappointing. Airfield. Ooh, what are we doing here? There we go. Hey, look at that. I'm psychic. Um, airfield, or air tower, rather, getting... The only thing that's going that fast is a Venom. It's not a Vertigo, so... Venoms are coming out, apparently. Um, which will very quickly die to Hammerheads with uh, AP ammo and Rocket Squads in them. So that's, that's uh, interesting. Um, that'll be great against the, the Redeemer. No Rocket Squads in that. Although, oh yes, he did fill the other one with an Engineer, so that's perfect. That uh, That's lovely. I really like that. Orcas, four Orcas would uh, take it out quicker, but um, more reliable would definitely be the Hammerheads here. Um, I love it. Vadi used to play with... Um, Zocom, Hammerhead. Oh, no, that is a Vertigo. Alright, never mind. Actually, right, so seeing late game Vertigos, which are another one of my favorite units. No stealth detection. Ah, see, that was very nice. I like that play by Renegra there. Um, as the Marv sits alone. Um, forever alone face. Um, yep, yeah, so this is going to be a dead Redeemer. Probably, maybe. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> There's the Pit Bulls, and. Uh, a few dead. Yep. Yeah, no, Vertigos. I like the. Uh, the I guess maybe. Um, or Negro is kind of hoping those pit bulls wouldn't get rebuilt. Um, but it's not doing as much damage as I thought to the Redeemer. So this Redeemer uh, may, or is it still cloaked? Should be. Should be recloaking here, seeing as there's no pit bulls around. Um, actually, what would be smart, and by smart, I mean stupid, would be uh, to <laughs> use these Vertigos. They have a little tail gun, which, uh, or you could bomb infantry with it. They have a tail gun, where if you have four Vertigos, actually would probably kill these pretty quick, as long as you don't focus fire you. Vertigos have a little anti-aircraft tail gun that does almost no damage, but when you have four of them, and they're just flying around, it might... Is that what he's doing? I don't think you can manually attack with them, even, either. Yeah, I gotta be careful, though, because... He's not attacking. Huh, that's weird. Sam sites pop up, and clumped hammerheads die very quick, especially to Sam sites. One goes down. Good attempt. Marv survive or Redeemer survives. Speaking of the Marv, what are you? What? Not even Marv is staying. You're just uh, sitting there being idle and whatnot. Ah, the classic three shatterer push. Brilliant. <clears throat> okay, so Vertigos are still out. Vertigos suck. I hate fighting against them in the late game because outside of the fact they're being stealth, they take so much damage and um, and you really have to keep tabs on them. So we have a stealth Redeemer, stealth Vertigos. Uh, yeah. Orcas probably might have, perhaps, maybe been better. Ah, it's a hard call. I'd say the Hammerheads were better just for their versatility right now. Uh, probably going to be going for the airfield. That would be my guess. Although the smart attack would be probably farther... Uh, no. Going for the... Ah, Carnyard. That was unlucky. That was really unlucky. Got a vertigo kill out of it. Ooh. Ah, that's just sad. You don't like to see that. Ah, hmm. Well, that's, uh, made... Oh, God, does he have... All right, he has a Reclamator hub. Not too much money, though. Let's see here, what's the Noian at? Unit lost. Noian is within the hundreds. Five grand for Aurora Negra. Things are looking pretty good here for our Mark of Cain friend. Secret shrine up for God knows what. Maybe Tiberium infusion, although a man spam at this... I don't know, who knows? Um, yeah... Uh, Anoyan's looking pretty rough here. Well, unless he's getting another MCV out. Um, which, ah, he just marvested that entire field. Of course, that's, uh, that's great. And we'll see an Orca Strike on... Was that the Redeemer? Maybe? Sort of? Perhaps? Ah, oh, a Secret Shrine for the Disruption Towers. That's always fun. Again, annoying as hell, really. Um, not stealth, really, in this game isn't... Mine is maybe Spectres. Alright, another MCV's out for Anoyan. That's good. Um, that stealth really isn't game-changing, I would say. Um, it's just annoying. It really is. It's easy enough to, you know, there's plenty of stealth detection for a GDI, um, and screen for that matter, but uh, it's just so annoying, especially with Vertigos. Alright, got the classic... Hmm. Alright. I love. I also love that um, Harvester Harassment late game with Vertigos. Vertigos are just useful in almost any... Minus unless your opponent has a really, really... I mean, unless your opponent's turtling... Um, and even his GDI, his very A guns, even with tungsten shells, do negligible, negligible 
Ne wait, what am I saying that? Oh, screw it. Never mind. Small amounts of damage. <laughs> we'll have to listen back to that one. I'm so, so intelligent tonight. Um, small amounts of damage. Let's put it that way. Um, because it's damage over time rather than burst damage, and vertigos have high armor and uh, decent hit points. So AA guns for GDI kind of suck against them because they're in and out pretty quick, being bombers. Um, AA guns are great against the, the uh, Venoms, who have to just sit there and, and take it as they deliver their damage, but uh, but no, AA guns against against Vertigos are no good. So that's why Pitbulls, who have the burst damage, are, are far better, plus they're mobile. And they're stealth detection, so that's great. But um, anyway, so turtling is really the only thing where you don't want to be getting Vertigos. Also, I mean, obviously hugely expensive. If you're engaged in a large ground war, Vertigos generally won't be too... Uh, too helpful. Um, that would be awesome. Would be like a, a final, oh, a um, disruption pod on like a reclamate or on a uh, reckoner, and then going in here with uh, three engineers, and then bunk 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 bunk, getting all three of these buildings. Ah, oh, that'd be lovely. That'd be great. But I doubt that's gonna happen. Tier four is still up, which is interesting. Um, let's see if he has the cooldowns all set. No, Ian. Okay, so he's at two grand, which means using any uh, anything, yes, yeah, gonna be pretty, pretty over the top. Yeah, catalyst is two grand, so at this point, there's better. What was that? WTF? That's that's weird. All right. Well, looks like uh, got some. Uh, oh, we have supercharged particle beams. That's fun. Don't see that every day. That's really expensive. Um, which are great, great, great for, um, excuse me, great for, uh, Enlightened. I'd love to see him Enlightened now. Since he, I mean, he has the secret shrine, he has the tech lab. Go Enlightened, dude. He's got no anti-infantry on the table except for, <laughs> except for the giant hammerhead swarm with AP ammo. That's great. All right. Well, don't listen to me. Vertigo's decent damage against Marv. That's, that's, uh, that's good. Still get the third engineer on there if he's using it the way he is. Um, huh, so a Venom Cloud, that's interesting. Don't see, don't see that very often in Kane's Wrath. Um, very atypical game. Slingshot's coming out. Um, I, again, that's damage over time, really high damage over time, and it's fast. Uh, at the same time, Venoms will uh, meet their downfall in the fact that they clump when told to attack. So, um, so hence rocket damage slash AoE is going to be, wow, that's a lot of hammerheads. That has a lot of hammerheads. And a nice radar scan. Might finally get his Redeemer kill. Um, I'm surprised he hasn't gone um, Tiberium Core Missiles. And Rage Generator, which is useless because... Oh, never mind. Got some Pit Bulls and whatnot. Um, for those of you who don't know, which shouldn't be anyone, seeing that this game has been around for ages and the only people playing now are people who know the game. Oh, and he's going to finally get the Redeemer kill. Lose all of his hammerheads in the process, except for two, maybe? Nope, okay. Venoms are going to go clean up. Ah, see, that was an interesting move, because, okay, got the Redeemer. Redeemer wasn't a huge threat. Got a few kills with the buildings. Now you opened up to the Venom Cloud, um, because those hammerheads would have gone one-on-one -on -one with them and, and at least stalemated, would have traded. Um, now, Anoian does... Yeah, Anoian's done for right now if if Negra pushes with his Venom Cloud. That's it. Two slingshots isn't going to do... Three slingshots isn't going to do... Jack squat. Not gonna do enough. Why aren't you pushing? Why? What are you? You are microing your Typeium troopers as they get squished by hover tracks. That's that's brilliant. Oh, this could this could be game over at this point. Anytime now. Unless enough slingshots get out. That uh, again, disagree with slingshots, but uh, huh. I mean, now five is kind of a yeah. Five is enough to I'll shred through those. Oh, unless Vertigo's come in. And now three is not enough. Especially when you pick off one. Uh, yeah. Yep, no, those are... Still pumping them out. Alright. I mean, slingshots will last longer against the Venom attack, but... Uh... God, they, they mow them down quick. Still here, even a, a, like four, four or five volleys, even if you have four or five pit bulls, a hit on the lead one right there would kill all of them, so that would be, uh, be the end of that. Selling one of the air towers. Um, Redeemer's popping back out, so that's fun. And Reclamator Hub still desperately punching out uh, slung shots, and that might be it here for Anoian. I forget what the title was. I forget uh, who wins here. 
Not seeing an alien coming back from this one, though. Marv is lost, so he doesn't have any way to get money anymore. Um, there's that four grand. Kind of long distance mining. Oh, never mind. What? Oh, he never lost the Marv. I'm just stupid. All right, so... Never you mind. We have uh, we have a Marv to... Um, ooh, I like this. Oh, magnetic mine drops. Those are... Those will absolutely dem Oh, a rocket pod on the Redeemer this time. That's smart. Um, even though air will probably not be as forthcoming because it's really expensive. But, um... That's interesting that he's sending the cloaked... Where to go? Cloaked Redeemer across to the middle of the map. Hmm, to pick off Slunk Joss. Anyway, um, Magnetic Mines, absolutely dem Actually, I haven't seen it against other epics. I would assume it's the same thing. But against uh, against hexapods, when they walk across, I saw. I mean, I just remember very vividly, so watching a, a hexapod walk across this field, just from here to here, right, and died within like two seconds. It was just the health was like gone. So, uh, so that's smart putting that down by the Tiberium field. Although I will admit, um, being a bit confused on uh, the fact that it's you know separate from where the Marv would be. So. Uh, Hey, we have finally another expansion with a uh, with a refinery. God, if I swear if we're a Negro, well, if a Noian pulls us off, rather I'll be very impressed. Um, yeah, this is a weird game. This is a really weird game, which I love. I love watching atypical things because yeah, really easy for the game to stagnate. Two vertigos went down, so that's an expensive loss. One venture chi on the first one. That's good. Um, Venom Claws is reduced to five of them. Oh, six. Wait. Yeah, it's six. Redeemer, doing some power harassment. Not quite as important at this point, now that we have a little bit more of a steady income going. Still nothing on the Marv. Never mind. We have a rocket, rocket pod on the Marv, so that's good. Huh. I like that build. The uh, double engineer, zone raider, rocket pod. That's, that's nice. That's cute. Um, oh, what are these zone raiders? In, uh, one zone raider inside. Just for more raw DPS. That's needed. Hugely expensive and uh, very vulnerable, but... Um, oh, and the Reclamator Hub's gonna go down! That is why I always have a barracks with me. Um, because then you can pop out an engineer and have it sit by, and then... Bloop, you have essentially a new one, and down go both those hammerheads. Lost a lot of money right there. And the Reclamator Hub's dead. Ah, that's rough. Uh, nice retro generator. And this... Oh, no, no, still got a few slingshots. Gotta bring the Marv up now, yeah, it doesn't have a choice, otherwise uh, this Redeemer will... Otherwise, I mean, the, the Venoms will just finish off whatever resources he has left, and the Redeemer, of course, will finish off these lovely uh, gentlemen over there. Ah, fine, oh, now we have a Barracks up, okay. Yeah, Barracks, uh, I just never have a reason not to have one, uh, unless you're doing an early game sell start, otherwise late game. Ah, no reason not to have a Barracks, um, honestly. <coughs> Infantry's, infantry support is uh, really invaluable. Depending on the matchup, anyway. Um, uh, full flight of four vertigos now. These will be coming and... Oh, Venoms are finally going to go down. Not quite one will survive. Venoms are, looks like they're going to try to clean up this AA force. And miss. Yeah, that was interesting. Um, again, no pass. He has a thing. Look, oh, there we go. That was lucky. Uh, that was a bad, uh, bad escape route there by the, uh, the Venom. See, that's the thing about um, those slingshots is that got a lot of damage on them, but uh, even if they escape with even a little bit of, uh, of damage left on them, they'll be, they'll be fine. Um, where's the Marv? Oh, Marvy! There you are. Alright. Um, oh, we have a Veteran Sea Redeemer. Not too scary. Um, not what uh, no 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 stop okay never mind that's great because you have a war factory and that was your last pit bull so now you'll be able to find the redeemer unless the redeemer wants to be found which when there's a marvel round probably won't be too often rage generator will uh be a nuisance at best to this marv some extra damage whatever um not really a big deal oh man this game really should have been over a while ago if i'm being honest i mean ugh. So we will about redeemers and, and specter harassment, and I love it. I love it. I love watching it. But this game would have been over with a giant scorpion push. Well, maybe not. I don't know. That's hard because the hammerheads were, you know, major counter to that. But at this point, stop going for the AA 
or for the or for the the venoms. They're hugely expensive. I think they're nine hundred a pop, Building at least. On hold. Nine hundred or seven hundred? Not yet. Nine hundred a pop. Where the heck is he getting all this money? I guess from the infused Tiberium slash having uh, access to these two fields. God. Yeah. So nine hundred. Uh, it's just. Uranera could have won this game very long ago. Still could. Um, um, had he gone for a ground oriented strategy, honestly. Now that, now that there's nothing but AA <laughs> and a Marv, um, just send in some Raider EMPs and, and I mean, hell, Spectres at this point. You know, EMP, EMP the Marv, it's the one ground unit out there. Spectre bomb it until it's gone. And then uh, that's that. But, but we'll uh, we'll watch this nice little uh, air drum unfold. Yeah, this is a long game. Didn't even uh, didn't really expecting that. Uh, does Aurora? Uh, let's see here. Yep, nice rage generator. Really nice rage generators this game. Um, it's quite impressive. Pitbull is going down here. Should be moving the Marv or just watching as his Pitbull's got one shot by. That's lovely. Um. Slingshots going up in force against Venoms. Venoms will be... Oh, is that a heroic slingshot? Yes, that's bad with slow. I'm lucky. Okay, so a heroic slingshot obviously will kill everything. Um, but, still think. All of a sudden. So that's that sucks. Um, love the stealth things, by the way. Yeah, okay, fine. Even stealth things at this point. EMP buggies and stealth things. What the hell? Um, oh, God. Don't lose your MCB again. Don't you dare. If two stealth tanks come right here, and then the... Oh. Alright. GG. Alright, so there we go. Annoying finally goes down. That was longer than it had to be, but uh, that was fun. I'm, uh, I'm glad I did that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching and listening to my incoherent, or barely coherent, rambling. Um, let's see, how long did that reach? Yeah, 32 minutes, almost on the nose. Alright, well, I'll go through the, uh, the tabs here. As you can see... Um, Units were pretty even. We have these spikes of hammerhead usages. This was the giant scorpion pitbull army. Boom, those guys all go die, and then steadily declining as the pitbulls begin uh, dying. And no one can't do anything. Structures, no surprise there. Or Negra had the uh, structure advantage. The entire game had a stable base, pretty much spanning the entire right side of the map. So that was good. Props to Noyan for holding on so long. Resources, um, yeah, definitely were in Noyan's favor till he. Really, the vertigo bombing um, was was very good harassment and uh, very hard to, to counter in late game. And then finally, uh, yeah, created structures, captured, sold, created, lost. Everything's pretty much wow, almost <laughs> almost one different um, KD ratio. Of course, quite higher for for Aurora Negra. Pitbull Scorpion Tank, of course, average income a little bit higher for Aurora. No surprises there. It uh, just goes to show you how um, stupid, uh, stupid perseverance with a bad strategy can win you a game. Just kidding. That was a fun game, and I love to see stuff different. This has been Captain Gerg. I hope you enjoyed. I might do another one. Who knows? Um, it's fun to do, but it takes a long time to put together. So keep uh, playing Kane's Wrath. It's a great game. Underrated. And I will see you guys around game replays. Have fun.